Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it's the end of the month which means it is time for the show us your sheet load feature. I hope you'll stick around and see the viewer cards that I received this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I like to stop by each month and share with you what has came in my P.O. box for the month. Sometimes they are sheet load cards, other times they are just because cards. And this month, I think I have my first envelope from Denmark, so I can't wait to see what's in there. Now, if you ever want to send in a card, my P.O. box is always at the bottom of my description box. And if you ever want to show us your sheet load, which just means you use any of the sheet load sketches when you send in your card, I do have a special video in that description box called Show Us Your Sheet Load Guidelines. There are two other ways you can show us your sheet load, and that is by posting a video here on YouTube or making a post over on Instagram with specific hashtags. I will link up the YouTube playlist and the search over on Instagram so you can see what else viewers created with the July 2021 sheet load of cards. Are you ready to see what came this month? To get started today, I have a couple special cards. These are from family members. The one over here on the left is from my mom for the 4th of July, and I just loved how she decorated the front, but there's a special surprise inside that I wanted you to see. It is a sparkly United States. I just loved that, so I wanted to share it with you. Another one here is from my sister, and you might recognize the notches here on the July 2021 sheet load of cards layout. She is where I got the idea to try that with my envelope punch board. So she sent in a card to share with us this month as well. Thank you so much, Mom and Lisa. Before we get to the viewer cards, I do have a special channel member shout out. Recently, I had a channel member upgrade to paper trimmer level member. I would like to say a great big thank you to Nilda Rivera. Now, she decided to upgrade after last month's channel member only live video, which we had a ton of fun during. I hope that you'll consider checking out the perks of membership. I do have a link toward the top of the description box below. And as always, thank you to all of my channel members. Your support is greatly appreciated. The first package that I shared a little look at in the intro was from Joan O of Denmark. It was chock full of wonderful examples using the July 2021 sheet load of cards, and each one even had its own decorated envelope. But also inside was this gorgeous rainbow filled card that Joan created for me and wrote me a lovely note. Thank you so much Joan for sending this. The card maker from Florida sent in this beautiful patriotic example using the April 2021 sheet load of cards and she also sent me some matching pens. Thank you so much. Yvonne K from Wisconsin sent in two envelopes this month. On the left, she was inspired by the July 2021 sheet load of cards. She just made the pieces a little larger, so it was a folding card that would sit up. And then over on the right, she did a little sheet load rewind to June 2019. Thank you so much for sharing these. Janice Yu from Texas also sent in two cards this month, and just like Yvonne before her, for her card on the right, she did increase the size of the pieces to make it just that top fold card. And then over on the left, she went straight forward with the sketch and included a card where the background was embossed. In her note, Janice asked me if there was a way to join channel membership 
but pay for it with a check. If anybody else is wondering about that, unfortunately channel membership is completely through YouTube. They take care of the billing and taking out what their part of it is. So unfortunately there is not. I'm so sorry Janice, but thank you for even considering channel membership. Janice also shared a little note with the dimensions she used for her card on the right. So if you wanted to pause the video here and check those out, if you're interested in the same thing, you could recreate it. Karen C. from Virginia definitely made it feel like Christmas in July here in my craft room. She sent me a box with these beautifully wrapped gifts and she also included a card that was inspired by a sheet load from long ago. Karen has been such a loyal and wonderful viewer over the years and she likes to surprise me with little packages like this. Inside were five cards that she created using sheet load of cards. On the outer edges is the July 2021 and in the center is July 2020, which is probably one of my favorite sheet loads ever. Karen is always paying attention to things that I say I enjoy and like, and these next two little gifts prove that point. Not only does she know that Echo Park is one of my all-time favorite paper companies, and she shared two paper pads with me, but also she created me this set of beautiful handmade cards. Um, on this are things I love like florals and butterflies and gold metallic and the background is even embossed with the texture. Now because the picture doesn't do it justice, here is a little close up look at one of the cards so you can see how it shines. Thank you so much Karen for the wonderful gifts. I cannot wait to put them all to good use. Karen was also part of the live video that I mentioned earlier for channel members and it was so nice to be able to put a face to a name after all of these years. Keeping with kind of the winter or holiday theme was this card from Helen P of Canada and she rotated the sketch so to help her card stand up she created an easel mechanism on the back. I wanted to give you a couple close-up looks at it and just say how wonderfully creative this was. Thank you so much Helen. Betty H. of Oregon sent in this next July 2021 example and just like I had done with one of my sheet load alternatives, her card on the front instead of opening from left to right with just the partial open, it opens from bottom to top. If you do want to check out that alternative video, I will have it linked in the description box below. Cheryl S. from Utah sent in this lovely purple sample for July 2021. I love that alcohol ink look paper and how she has cut her sentiment from the circle instead of stamping it or putting a die cut on top of it. Thank you, Cheryl. Mary S. from Illinois sent in this next card. I am loving the butterflies and I especially like that silvery twine. It even has some like mini sequins on it that she has used on the left. Thank you, Mary. Della C. of Tennessee has created an autumn version of the July 2021 sheet load of cards. I am loving those little leaf die cuts and also the stitching above and below the card on the front. I thought that added such a nice touch. Thank you, Della. Terry R. of Massachusetts sent in this floral version and she let me know in her note that she moved the sentiment more to the top left because she didn't want to cover up that beautiful flower over in the bottom right. Great way to make it work, Terry. Thank you. Teresa C. of Illinois sent in two cards using the July 2021 sheet load of cards. I really like how she coordinated kind of that rock looking paper with a brick texture in the background. Thank you so much for sending these in, Teresa. Michelle S. of Utah sent in this pretty sample, once again using July 2021, and not only is the card kind, but the note inside was so nice, and it even gave me a little chuckle. Thank you so much, Michelle. 
Carol S. of Indiana sent in a birthday card version of July 2021. You know I love those florals and I love it paired with the stripes on the left. And if you look really closely, there's a cute clear heart above the sentiment. Thank you, Carol. Jennifer D. from California sent in this next beautiful example. I am absolutely loving the heat embossed sentiment on the vellum. You know those are two of my favorite things. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Caroline K. of Minnesota sent me this beautiful card just because. I am loving those florals and the embossed cardstock in the background is actually a little shimmery. Thank you so much Caroline for the card and the note. Wendy E. from Ohio sent in these two beautiful examples using the June 2021 sheet load of cards. I love the theme and all of the sparkle. Thank you Wendy. Brian D. from Mississippi also sent in a card using the June 2021 sheet load of cards. I like how he added those leaf die cuts to the background and the nice note inside. Thank you so much, Brian. Diane A. from California has sent in a card that was inspired by the July 2021 sheet load of cards, but she has made hers into an A2. And if you're watching this, Diane, can you please let me know who makes that sentiment on the front? I absolutely love it. Here's a little peek at how her card opens up. Thank you, Diane. The next envelope was from Karen T. of California, and just because the envelope was so gorgeous, I had to share it here with you. But inside were many wonderful creations, the first of which is this little wallet made out of a couple envelopes. And Karen let me know that this is made for your immunization card. And I have to say this was super timely. I was just wondering the other day how I would keep it safe and not fold it up in my purse. Also inside were two sheet load examples. The one on the left is from July and the one on the right is from June. I love not only the cards but how she has decorated each of the envelopes. And Karen, whenever she sends in cards to me, she also does include just a wonderful note that is chock full of photos, both of things she has made recently and of herself. Thank you so much, Karen. And speaking of decorated envelopes, the next card, which is from Sharon M. of Indiana, also came one where she has decorated the flap. It is die cut just like the cardstock in the background of her wonderful card. Thank you so much, Sharon. Cindy M. of Ohio sent in two examples using July 2021 and she mentioned how just like collaboration team member Karen Aiken that she wanted hers to be able to stand up. So she has put a homemade easel on the back. Now here is a close up look at what that looks like standing up and if you want to pause the video here she has even given some dimensions. Thank you so much Cindy for your cards and your wonderful letter. Jessica N. of Florida also sent in two July 2021 examples, and it might not be as apparent on this picture, but looky here, she has used a piece of clear cardstock as the backer for her folded card base, and she has also embossed that. I think this is just gorgeous, and I was trying to figure out a way to incorporate clear cardstock for this month, and I had no idea how to do it, and this was perfect. Thank you so much for sharing these, Jessica. And last but certainly not least today is this beautiful package from Bertha C. of Canada. I'm not going to lie that when I opened the tissue and found a box of yummy looking cookies inside, I was pretty excited for an international snack. But it was filled with something even more wonderful. The first of which was two examples using the November 2019 sheet load of cards along with decorated envelopes. And the rest was all crafty goodies for me, including stamps, dies, pattern paper, and even some regular size stamp and dimensionals, which I am almost out of. Thank you so much, Bertha, for your generosity and for sharing this with me. 
When I say I have some of the most talented subscribers out there, I completely mean it. I loved seeing each one of your creations, and I like how some of you really made them your own. Thank you also for all the little extras. They are always appreciated, and I can't wait to put them to use. Until my next video, which is the August 2021 sheet load of cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.